Okay, so far we've covered the basics of geological modeling using uh, a simple example how to create a fault and how to import the topography, how to start the project. So we're not going to go through that again because this is going to waste your time, guys, and I'm not here to waste your time. So we've done the same thing. We've imported this topography in here. We've set the limit to our uh, model in here as you can see you've done uh, the X min the X max and uh, all of that and we've created a few cross sections uh, in here so uh, we'll see later on why do we need these so now we're not going to build our model based on a geological map we are going to go to the next um, thing which is drill holes I know that a lot of you guys uh, are waiting for this so let's just dive into it so as you can see we have here uh, drill holes it's uh, a folder in here where we can load the drill hole so let's go and right click and go to import and in this case we have four types that we can use but I know that most of you are actually familiar with the colors survey and geology so what what is colors so before I go to this we cover what is colors and what is survey and what is geology but when we load them so in here we are going to in here we are going to import a CSV file it's just uh, a txt uh, file with uh, an extension dot uh, CSV you can go and load any table inside Excel and just export that as .csv. Usually it's gonna be uh, semicolon separated or comma separated, so it's okay. So you can choose what is the uh, delimiter that you've used here inside GeoModeler. So the, here we are going to import the color table. We are going to see what is actually the color table. So let's go to GeoModeler data and drillings. So this is actually the color table. And then we go and we have the uh, survey table. And let's go here and let's go and take the geology table. Okay, and then we press next. So here, what we need to do is to specify and tell GeoModeler what is actually the delimiter that separates the columns in here. So in our case is actually comma. So if you find it by default to table, for example, like this, everything's gonna be messed up in here. So as you can see that they they are separated with a comma. So if you pick comma as your separator, uh, GeoModeler is going to understand that uh, after every comma we have a new column in here. Okay, so. The color table is actually, if we have a drill holes, so the first thing that we need is the location for these drill holes. So as you can see that we have the hole ID, the name of that uh, hole, and we have the X, Y, and Z coordinates. So we have the X and Y, Z coordinates of that hole. Now we can put that in 3D space in here. And, but we need the, the depth, so we have the O, EOH here depth which which is the end of hole depth so what is the depth of that hole so we specify that in here so we press next and then uh, you can see that this one is actually an additional field so we don't need it in the color table here is what we actually need we need the this whole ID if for example you name this a drill hole name you need to tell GeoModeler that this is actually the whole ID Okay, and you whole ID uh, X, Y, and Z, and so on. You go to next, and then we have the survey table. So just one thing to note here: if you guys are familiar with other softwares, the name of the drill hole. If you name it, for example, VDH S, then in all the files, the color, uh, the survey table, and the uh, geology table, they all need to be the same. So a single space matter in here because GeoModeler is going to read that as two different drill holes while they are just the same. So here in the survey table sometimes we have some 
uh, drill holes that are deviated in the subsurface. So they are not just vertical, they go with a deviation. So in here we tell Geomodeler what is the depth of that deviation. So if it's 90, which means that is just perfectly vertical. And the azimuth, if we have, let's say, a 30 degrees dip, but we need to know at uh, the direction of that uh, uh, dip, so that's actually what is the azimuth. So the azimuth will tell us the direction. Zero is the north, and uh, 180 is the south, and you can guess what are the numbers in between, okay? So uh, here we specify the depth. So uh, we have uh, at the zero, we have a uh, zero and uh, 400, that's the depth. So uh, for each drill hole, you can see that the end of hole in the other file were just uh, 4,500. So this is what is the survey table all about. And then we go to the geology table. So what is the geology table? Uh, during the drilling, we are going to intercept different uh, lithology, different formations. So we need to tell Geomodeler, for example, from 0 to, let's say, uh, 5 meter, we have that geology. From that uh, to that, we have that geology, and so on. So this is what is all about, the uh, geology. So survey depth and viewing and stuff. And let's go to next. And this is actually the geology table. And we have the from, so that's the first depth, and have two, and then lithology, which is the code of that. So, for example, we have in the table here F6, which means like the formation number sex. In this, in another uh, drill hole, for example, four, we have that formation sex on the top in here. So, so that's all about it. And let's go and click on next, and. Here, if you recall, guys, uh, we started with creating some stratigraphic pile. If you remember, we created some uh, upper formation and uh, mid formation and the lower formation. Now we have these kind of formations. Uh, the good thing is that Geomodeler is going to detect whether these formations that are in the drill holes actually exist or not. If they do exist, all the data in, this, in these drill holes are going to be linked to the existing data that we have in the same formation. If these formation doesn't exist, then Geomodeler is going to tell us uh, whether we need to create that formation or, um, or merge to an existing uh, fault, for example, if there's a fault or something like that. So in our case, we don't have any formations and Geomodeler is going to uh, uh, import these to uh, the stratigraphic pile that we have. Go next. And now these are the drill holes that are imported successfully. They are 14. And if, if there's a problem, you're gonna find you know, a cross uh, symbol in here and you will have the command, what kind of things that you need to fix in order to uh, import that drill hole. So let's go and finish. And now these are all imported successfully. Now if we right click and drill hole and click on show, you can see that our drill holes are actually shown in 3D. Now we can make the appearance uh, to shading. Uh, let's go back, sorry. Uh, appearance and multiply that by, for example, make it 5. 5 is not, let's make it 10 maybe, or I don't know, 20. 20 may be good so that they are uh, clear. And let's go to uh, shading, yeah, shading. Okay, so these are the drill holes, and this is the topography. We can go to the topography and make it shading too. These are the drill holes, and that's the topography. And in the next video, we are going to see how to use these uh, drill holes to actually model this deposit.